good day. Welcome to our channel, Just Spanning It. We plan on taking two years to travel the big lap of Australia, exploring coastlines, capturing picturesque scenery, discovering remote destinations, and visiting iconic Australian landmarks. We'll be traveling in our trusty Ford Ranger and trusty Explorer Caravan. Free camping and budget camping are way around Australia. Hi, I'm Derek. And I'm Sue. And this is our English Bulldog, Sophie. Sit back, relax, and come along on our greatest journey, sharing our adventures, building our memories, and hopefully inspiring others to do the same. back new episode today is pack up day so we're moving uh, down south to Mount Gambia um, it's about 570 kilometers uh, from uh, Cobram where we are at the moment so we decided to approach the New South Wales police and ask them if we could cross the border as we we're essential travelers and they called us back to say yes but we would have to quarantine for 14 days so we booked ourselves a, a caravan park in uh, Mount Gambia. I'll just check with Sue and let you guys know what, which park it is. But um, yeah, so we're gonna leave early tomorrow morning. So we'll use today to pack, but obviously, as you can see, typical, the weather's not playing its game. It is wet today, but hey, it's all right. We'll pack, got a little bit to sort out here. I already sorted some of the stuff out yesterday, fill the water tanks. Um, and just uh, make sure all the, all the weight is properly packed in the caravan because we've been here for five, six weeks now. So we're super excited to get back on the road. Um, it has gotten very cold here. So um, yeah, so what we'll do is, um, yeah, we'll pack it all up. Righto, we're on the road guys, we got up at about 5 this morning, um, just finished packing the last bits and I think we're on the road by about half past 6, quarter to 7 and um, yeah, 570 k's to punch out, um, we'll have a little quick stop at Ichuka which was about 100 k's, I think we're about 60 k's out and um, yeah we'll take it from there. Coffee is only 60 k's away. Well, it's been a big day to drive. Um, we've got about 100k to go. I think it's about 80 kilometers to get to the border. So I'm not gonna film when we go through the border to see what we have to deal with uh, to get through as through this isolation. But I will let you know once we get to the park what we had to fill out, what we had to let them know. But yeah, it's going good. We're just stretching our legs. I don't know where we are, to be honest. No idea where we are. There's not a car or a truck in bloody sight. But anyway, we'll keep we'll keep getting on. So right guys, we got here, eventually. What is it, nine hour drive? 570 k is down. We got through the border control. So yes, we quarantined for 14 days. So that means we're literally not allowed to leave our camp site for 14 days. But that's something we were happy to do so we can travel South Australia. So here we are, set up. We've got a private ensuite. 
it's clean, nice and level. Um, and yeah, so we'll just set up before it gets too dark and um, yeah, we'll catch up later. So righto, day three of quarantine. Sorry if I'm shouting, I've got a bit of a wonky ear, which is a bit blocked. So I'll have to go and get that cleaned out. But um, yeah, got here on Friday, it rained the whole weekend. So today the sun came out for us and yeah, it was quite a nice day. So what I did today is I'll, I took some footage of around the, um, the our campsite and the park. So I'll drop that in now. <laughs> basic park guys um, we do have a little private ensuite that's one of the reasons why we picked this park um, we're at um, Kilgani holiday parks part of the top caravan park group um, $215 for the week that is including the private ensuite so I'll just whip around that's that's us all set up and at the back there you can see the look mate it's not it's not it's not great but it'll do it'll private ensuite place needs a bit of TLC to be honest like you can see there used to be a gutter up here and I can tell you now there hasn't been one up for a while but anyway but leafy but that's fine it's the time of the year trees are dropping their leaves um, yeah guys I don't know what to say they I've got to be creative because um, I've got 14 days that I can't leave the caravan site that's the rules uh, when you come when we came through the border cross uh, border crossing um we had to fill out a form give our driver's license give our address because we had booked this already so police can come around and check us on us any time which we totally agree with it so we'll abide by the law and stay here we got Woolworths delivery yesterday so we got some managed to get some groceries delivered a contact or no contact delivery or whatever they call it so um yeah this is where we stuck so what i'm gonna do i'll Maybe take some time, clean the caravan, give the give the ute a wash, caravan a wash, um, and get ready for when we finish our 14 days, and then we're hitting the road. And man, I tell you what, myself and Sue and Sophie, we are excited to get back on the road and do a bit of free camping and travelling. So for now, cook dinner. Righto, morning, day seven, halfway there, cup of coffee, I don't, oh actually a mocha, I'm not 40 by the way, um, made the wife with a normal coffee, happy wife, happy life, so guys yeah, today we're just gonna give the van a bit of a wipe down outside, and just tinker around really, um, yeah, until we can we got a week, uh, tomorrow week, we can, we can start adventuring um, and exploring Mount Gambia. So we did a lot of research, so there's a lot to do. Mm. And um, yeah, so let's get stuck into it. Oh yeah, she's good. Oh yeah, she's steady. Oh yeah, what to do? So, someone posted on my Instagram 
that used to live in Mount Gambia and said it rains for nine months of the year and the water dribbles off the trees for the other three. Interesting times ahead. Oh, that'll be a disaster tonight. That sorts out tonight. If you guys haven't been uh, following us on Instagram, jump on Instagram at Just Banning It, and you'll see on our storyline, Friday night seems to be a bit wild in the camp because, well, we haven't got anything else to do. Received the parcel. Ooh, what better time to receive that on a Friday? Tonight's going to be a good night. So, right, had a shower. Found no motivation in that shower, so the I won't be washing the ute or the caravan today. And there's rain due for the weekend, so I thought, ah, oh, we'll skip it and give us something to do next week. So, guys, that's it for this week. We're halfway through quarantine, so we've got to stay positive. We'll um, spend the weekend researching some some stuff to do around here for when we get out. If you guys have liked this uh, video, please leave a comment down below. Hit the like and subscribe button. Share with friends and family. We really appreciate the support we have uh, had so far. And um, yeah, guys, enjoy the weekend and enjoy the week. Until next time.